All right, everyone, welcome back. Okay, I've uh, taken my break. It's a little lightheaded. I'm not sure if uh, it's, it's because of allergies or uh, or if anything else. I raised the seat up a little bit more because I think the seat's a little too low and it's affecting my knees. It's a lot over here. Okay. All right, got pedal assist uh, three.
like uh, I've really lightened the load on the backpack, or I've uh, my butt is all toned. And uh, I'm not sure what probably a little bit of both. halfway home, halfway mark, so I just have another 14 miles to go, which isn't a big deal. episode here um, just want to let you know that uh, the video cut out um, on my trip back from Memorial Park 
and uh, just ran out of memory. I have a 32 gig on the uh, Samsung S7 and it's not enough. Apparently I ran too many videos. Anyways, um, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. Um, as I was coming home and I finally got to pass fries, there was a lot of wind. I was extremely tired. My knees were aching. Um, I think I had my seat post a little too low uh, and it just, for whatever reason, it just starts going down a little bit. Uh, I washed the bike today. I did a lot of other things. It's uh, 80s, 85. I, uh, the days are getting longer. Uh, the, the temperature, I think, did have an effect on me. I, I was getting overheated, started getting overheated. Um, maybe some allergies as well. Started getting a little headache. Man, riding a bike is not fun when you have allergies and headaches and all this other stuff. Uh, anyways, anyways, um, I made it. I did make it home, but uh, I used essentially pedal assist five. I had a full bank of battery. I, I was on my second uh, battery, and uh, I just, as soon as I got to Fry's and hit the road and the streets, there was a lot of headwind. I would say anywhere from uh, 12 to 12 mile an hour headwinds to a gust of 20 miles an hour. And, and uh, I was also getting uh, very dehydrated as well and I ran out of water. So the two liter hydration pack, gone. Um, pretty much after after I passed fries and I was on the road, it was gone. I had about another, I would say, eight, eight, nine or eight miles uh, before going home. So it wasn't too bad. The tag along towel was not wet enough, and uh, the way I had it, I should have readjusted it, but it never really made contact with my neck. It just kind of just was around my neck, and so. Uh, it wasn't as effective, so I was feeling a little overheated. By the time I got home, man, I was happy to get home. I was very exhausted. I was very tired. A um, uh, little hungry, too. Uh, just ate something real quick. Uh, took a nice lukewarm shower to cool down. Um, my knees are all right. I, I don't know what it was, but I think the way I had my seat was so low, it was affecting the way I, I pedal and bend my knee that it just, uh, it was just aching. Um, and I also fell down a couple times, as you saw, on the mountain bike trail. Anyways, uh, so I washed the bike today. It's clean. Uh, overall, the, uh, the bag over there it works. I, I need to tighten it up a little bit, but I, I think it's it's a good it's a good setup the way I have it now. And plus the the way the the mount the way the mount is now uh, upside down, I think that works. I can use my headlights. Uh, the day has gotten longer. Uh, by the time I got home, it was a little. It was past seven o'clock, and it was still daylight. And uh, so I didn't even need to use my headlight. I really doubt I'll ever need to use my headlight. And so from this point on, I think the sun sets around 8 or 9. Oh my goodness, it's going to be long. Uh, and this was just 80 degrees. Uh, I could tell right now hydration, hydration uh, or dehydration is going to be a problem. And hydrating and staying cool is going to be an issue. So it's going to be my next challenge. On my next ride, how do I stay cool and hydrated? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I went through two liters of water, so maybe I have to conserve on the water. Plus, I drank all the protein shake, so uh, I may have to refill somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. I did. I did. I was very active once I got to Memorial Park, so I I, I rode one, two, three different mountain bike trails uh, or ran the mountain bike trails at least three different times so that had an effect on me I did stay there a little bit longer 
and it was hotter. Um, although I did eat uh, some of the snacks and uh, try to prepare for it, I could tell it's probably very challenging. And it was a 50 mile ride. So 25, at least 25 going back, uh, going to the park, Memorial Park, 25 miles going home. I don't know how many miles I actually rode when I got there. Uh, you know, the mountain bike trail really zapped a lot of energy from me. Uh, I did throttle in some places. Uh, when I got closer to home, I, I just throttled. Okay, I didn't even bother pedaling. My knees were really aching. Um, so, so that's kind of what it was. That's kind of what happened. So I just want to conclude conclude this episode. Uh, I think it was a great trip overall. It gives me a really good experience and idea of, of of the challenge of riding to a place. Mountain biking. I probably won't do that kind of mountain biking. Um, overall, I, I don't I don't know if you can really mountain bike on on a rad rover per se uh, you definitely can get on it you definitely can ride i mean you saw me ride it uh, it depends on the track itself uh, don't anticipate to you know i went trying to do some jumps or going up up tight corners and going up uh, a trail after that it's very difficult um, sand is an issue. That's what I noticed right away. Uh, where, wherever it's sandy, you're going to slip and slide. That's for sure. So uh, all these people making videos on riding on the beach, uh, I think there, there may be a challenge to get to the shore of the beach where they're, where they're riding on. I think that's the only place you can ride on. Anything after that, it's going to be quite a challenge. Um, if, if it's really like loose sand, like sand sand at the beach but who knows maybe maybe there i've seen other videos where people rode in sand just fine um so uh maybe i'm missing something i don't know um but you you can mountain bike it's just a little challenging because it, it is a heavier bike and uh it's different it's very different it's not light it's very heavy and you include the battery the backpack I had, I had 20 pounds on, on my backpack. Uh, the bike weighs about 65 pounds, so I was, I was riding an 85 pound, I was carrying 80, I was, I was riding 80 pounds worth of weight. So that makes a difference. So anyways, other than that, um, I just I just washed the bike, as you can tell. I didn't really wash it, I rinsed it and used a uh, nylon brush and blow dried it. Uh, I did uh, oil the chain Oil, oil the chain. Uh, I use silicone on the uh, on the uh, suspension fork. Silicone some other areas of the bike. Uh, I try to avoid the actual disc brakes. Um, I do have my tools here. I'm going to actually use my tools. This is a 301 piece mechanics tool kit. You can see all the Allen wrenches and my sockets here. I'm going to now. I'm, I'm pretty much going to torque the bike now. Um, wherever it needs torquing, uh, I already did. I already, uh, I've already torqued. Uh, I probably should finish torquing. I didn't quite finish. Uh, I did adjust the front brake. I felt that it was it needed adjusting, so I loosened the front brake, and then and then squeezed uh, uh, squeezed on the brake, and then tightened tightened the brake back on again. So uh, I did that. The back one is fine. I'm okay. So I actually did brake adjustments. Actually, adjust the brake, not not the uh, not the brake pads. Um, so on on this one anyway, I probably need to torque uh, torque this. Um, just finish up on that. As far as this one right here, uh, I'll, I'll probably be torquing this right now. And making whatever adjustments, I, I lubricated it. I've sprayed it uh, with silicone. Um, oiled the chain. Oiled the chain. Uh, I probably need to tighten the bag. It, it is. A it's gotten a little loose here, so uh, I will probably tighten the bag a little bit. Um, 
but other than that, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very, very, very happy with the bike. Uh, eventually what I'm going to do is I will do a comparison between the Rad Rover and the Rad Mini. And I'll tell you the pros and cons and, and compare the two. Uh, I like both because they do so different things. Um, anyways, I'm going to conclude this episode. So feel free to like, dislike, uh, leave a comment, or even do a video response. Until next time, everyone, stay tuned.